Welcome again to another wonderful time with God on Glorious Morning Shower. Happy Sunday to all our viewers. Thank you for following us. This is the fourth month that a glorious morning shower commences, and we have not missed a day. To God be the glory for the insight. To God be the glory for the strength. The word for our shower today is the gift of patience. It is a gift because it's not common. In my place, they say, if only you can be patient, you may be able to pick a stone. If only you can be patient. Patience is to develop capacity to endure, capacity to tolerate, capacity to delay problem or delay suffering without getting annoyed or becoming anxious. Psalm 37 verse 7 says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of Him who prospered in His way because of the man who pass cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in any wise to do evil for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the law they shall inherit the earth so when we talk about patience is also ability to wait upon the law ability to stay put and god is telling some people this morning stay there stay there if you move an inch you might enter into the trap of your enemy just be calm let me remove what is in front of you before you move forward Remember the experience of Moses at the Red Sea. Moses told his people, he said, he said, stand still. Exodus chapter 14 verse 13. He said, stand still and you shall see the salvation of the Lord. It is when you stand still and it is that standing still that we call the patience. Relax your mind. Relax your mind. Be, just come down there. Attempt to keep struggling. Try a error. Try a error. My end in jeopardy. It might end disastrously. But that won't be your portion in the name of Jesus. And that is why God is bringing this message to your table this morning. Learn to be patient with God. And that is one thing that waiting upon the Lord does. And I'm sure many of you are still waiting upon the Lord in fast. Take this time out to be patient. This is not time to dive into things anyhow. He said, just hold on a while. Now, the book of Psalm 47 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And one thing I have come to realize by some spiritual discipline and understanding is miracle always take place at the corridor of patience. 
any time you can exercise that gift of patience, you have opened the door to the miracles. Remember when the disciples came to Jesus after Jesus finished preaching to 4,500 men. Now, they said, Master, we can't leave these people to just go like that without giving them something. They'll be, yes, all day long. Let's get them something to eat. Now, the first thing Jesus told the disciples, he said, tell them all to sit down. Tell them all to be patient. Let this work coming your way today correct your life. God is about to turn things around for you, but he has come there, he can't find you. Something has taken you away to where? To another happening place. And when God wants to visit you there again, he can't find you. Where are you? You have died again to another place happening. And before you know, you have wasted 10, 15 years of your precious life jumping and jumping boy be patient let god be done with you i know many ministers there that came to me they want to work with us they, now when they saw the intensity of the work we're doing they thought we were sharing money many of them look at me from my business world in those days ah it is raymond he has money he can they were coming in and you see when they didn't see the money to share they ran away I told many of them, I said, you better stay put. If not, where you are going to, you will hit rock. Many of them are already hitting rock. But shame will not allow them to come back. Beloved, God is not, is not kalu kalu. Time and chance happening to them all. Time, give it time. He said, the vision is for an appointed time. At the end, it shall speak, not at the beginning. So this idea of you can't wait, you can't wait. is I can't just wait. You can't just wait. Okay, go. Learn to be patient. It's a gift. And miracle take place. Two miracles that took place at the point of patience. One, the feeding of those 4,500 people with just two loaves of bread and three fish, uh, the five fishes. Number two, the crossing of uh, Red Sea is a bit still. And when they were still, the Red Sea opened up. Many of you are standing in front of a Red Sea, yelling and shouting. God is saying, sit down and stand still. If you can be quiet there, don't move an inch. That red seal will part in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of you have quoted scriptures, you have proclaimed things, and it's not happening. Why? Because you are not yet patient. You are not standing still. He said, I want to walk. Allow me to walk. This your noise is not allowing me to walk. Stop the noise. Let God walk for you. Be patient. It's golden. And I pray in the name of Jesus. As we are entering into a new week. You will make up your mind not to dumble into things anyhow, you will learn to be patient at the foot of the master. He said, sit at my right hand. Psalm 110 verse 1. He said, sit at my right hand until I make your enemy your footstool. So sit. That's what God is telling you today. And I pray you will never regret it in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. It's a lovely day for you. May this work go with you. May this work make your day glorious. 